welcome to uh, Vuna Shoots. This is, uh, we've still got an uh, outgoing tide, just coming to the end of it. So the current should be very light flowing from the south up to the north. So the uh, current is going to catch you and push you this way. All right. Uh, the dive is very cool. It's like a little road that goes in between the reef. The reef comes down over here, drops down. It's a little broken coral sand street, and then the reef will come up over here, and you're going to be going down the street. So, uh, kind of like a chute. That's why we call it chutes. Uh, we're going to drop a little bit this side of the chute. Uh, so we don't scare the sharks right at the beginning of the chute. It comes from the deep and comes up. Uh, there's a small shark nest up in there. Uh, hopefully Charlie can find it. Uh, usually a big mother shark sleeping right outside there. And then as you go down, just kind of spread out and look all underneath the big bombies. Uh, a lot of times there's sharks sleeping under there. You can get really good shots nice and close. Okay. Puna Shoots, the dive site you are seeing here, is located on the southwest corner of Tarayuni Island. Upon entering the water, you swim above a hard coral plateau with small undulations caressing the flat landscape. The depth of the dive ranges from 15 to 20 meters. Highlights include white tip reef sharks and barracuda. This is a very unusual female white tip reef shark, and she alone makes this dive worth the price of admission. White tips usually don't like divers, and they'll flee the scene if they see you. Before you can get your camera out to take a picture, most are gone, or you only see them from a distance. Expecting this beautiful shark to flee, I was surprised to see her turn around for another pass, and then another, and another. It was truly unbelievable. Completely disinterested in me, she gave me a performance that lasted over five minutes. I only stopped filming because the other divers had moved on and my dive buddy was getting anxious to follow. White tip reef sharks are territorial sharks, but not in a bad way. They just like certain locations, and they tend to come back to them. Thus, if you're looking for a shark dive that does not involve potentially dangerous interactions, and you want to take lots of pictures, this place is for you. I guarantee you white tip reef sharks are safe, unless you're carrying bleeding fish or spearfishing, in which case you might be bit. These sharks are only interested in fish like tangs, damselfish, octopus, crab, and lobster. And its only predators, besides parasites, are tiger, galapagos, and silvertip sharks. Another denizen of this reef is a yellow-tailed barracuda. Unlike many of their comrades, these fish are toxic to humans due to ceguatera poisoning. Ceguatera is a toxin that becomes more concentrated the higher it moves up the food chain. Symptoms include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, cramps, excessive sweating, headache, pins and needles, dizziness, and the reversal of cold and hot sensations. Really weird. Anyway, it's rarely fatal, but the symptoms can last a long, miserable time. As I look down at the wall and look up towards the boat, I realize that this dive has come to an end, and way too soon for me. As I approach the boat though, I look to my downward right and notice this fantastic school of barracuda circling the boat. As I had plenty of air and plenty of film remaining, I went on down to capture the school. Gosh, they're truly magnificent. My name is Scott Putnam, and I'm a travel reporter for PGGuide.com. Tabuni Dive is a safe and well-run dive shop. Of the dive operators I've come across in Fiji, Tabuni Dive stands out in my mind as the model operator. They're a pro not only in safety and dive site briefings, but they're also a pro in gauging a diver's abilities and potential problems. They will hold your hand and adjust your BCD if you need it. If you're in Tabuni and you want to dive, I guarantee you a great time.